Alice Chalmers, the Planter Specialists, presents... A practical way to kick the habit of planting corn and soybeans the conventional way. From the earliest days of recorded farming until the mid-1960s, plows and harrows have turned the land upside down every year. Once the land was plowed, as many as five trips more were made preparing the final seed bed. After the seed was in, farmers made one to four trips more prior to harvest. In total, conventional crop growing practices often required ten separate passes over the field. Are these trips necessary? How many can you eliminate? as many as nine, which just naturally has to cut expenses and earn savings in many ways. So cost-cutting no-till planting from Alice Chalmers makes sense because it saves time automatically by planting directly to unworked soil or sod. It lowers production costs with less labor, fewer tillage machines to own, operate and maintain. No-till controls water erosion prevents the runoff of conventional overtillage. No-till reduces wind erosion. It doesn't disturb between the rows sod or stubble, which prevents soil blowing. It conserves soil moisture. Both runoff and evaporation are reduced. No-till improves soil structure. Overtillage breaks down natural soil characteristics, so when it rains, surface crusting results. The entire plow depth profile can become compacted limiting normal root growth. No-till offers new practices such as double and multi-cropping. Two or three crops on the same land each year could double your profit. No-till pays immediate returns allowing you double the productive capacity of your farm without buying or renting more land. You can expect yield increases especially in a dry year because more moisture is retained in the soil. And no-till is profitable. Fewer field trips, less fuel, fewer implements. From production to investment, your costs are lower. Some farmers claim more uniform seed distribution. Others, higher germination. Even reduced harvesting losses because of improved root and stock structure. What separates no-till from other minimum tillage units? This fluted coulter, basically. A simple coulter with a corrugated edge that plows, disks, and drags ahead of the planter unit in a two-inch wide strip. But there's far more to the Alice Chalmers no-till concept than adding a fluted coulter. No add-on unit has the built-in benefits of the test years, the learning years, that field experience designs into a piece of equipment. Alice Chalmers has been through the pressures and drafts of side hill operation with multi-row planters, over rocky terrain, through trashy conditions. We know how to penetrate tough soils and hold preset planting depth. We already know which coulter widths work best with each seed type. We know about shock loads, frame dimensions, about sizes and stresses. But more than anything, we know how to help you customize your no-till planter from the frame up to match your plan today and change with you later on. This total no-till approach starts at the bottom, the hopper bottom. It's a precision die casting with hair-thin tolerances. The entire bottom cutoff and knocker are specially impregnated for smooth surfaces, long wear and accuracy. The cutoff is adjustable for accuracy with varying seed sizes. It prevents doubles by continually wiping the seed plate. Alice Chalmers seed containers are tough polyurethane, translucent so you can measure seed level at a glance. This isn't one of our usual tests, but as you can see, even the full weight of a car doesn't crush through our seed containers. As a combination, our exclusive hopper bottom and short 14-inch vertical seed drop deliver precise seed singulation and accurate spacing without seed bounce in the boot. The 72 planter unit is close coupled from press wheel to toolbar. This means accurate depth control. Averaging 200 pounds, each unit has the weight to penetrate stock ground and wheat stubble, individually following contours instead of planing over the high spots. Twin beam parallel linkage with special down pressure springs lets the boot float vertically and stabilizes the unit side to side for precise row spacing. 
Grease fittings are located in a bank for quick, convenient lubrication of the hopper drive. You control planting depth in quarter-inch steps through a double row of offset holes in the press wheel frame. The press wheel sprockets are changed to vary seed spacing. The drive chain is shielded so it can't collect field debris. Each unit is individually ground driven, which results in accurate plant spacing and depth. You get all of the bred in grow power your seed selection offers. Spring loaded press wheels firm the soil around the seed. This promotes fast, high percentage germination. Three chemicals are usually applied at planting time. Fertilizer, insecticides and herbicides. Granular or liquid. Fertilizers for the most part are corrosive. Thorough cleaning at the end of every planting season is essential. In cleaning, an easily overlooked area is the auger. Let it cake up and it'll wear down, gradually decreasing output rate at selected settings. Dry fertilizer hoppers are available in 250 and 500 pound capacities to match row spacing and number of rows. We put a V-shaped baffle over the hopper auger to eliminate bridging as much as to protect the auger from obstructions. And we put a spring around the drive shaft. This spring flexes and the opposed motion of the shaft and spring result in self-cleaning action. Drop tubes are mounted to the hopper and the auger with a slotted adapter that also acts as a relief valve. If an obstruction, such as a piece of bag, gets into the drop tube, the slotted adapter overflows ahead of this block. There's little pressure on the drive. 18-inch fertilizer openers are recommended for both dry and liquid formula. There are three types of liquid fertilizer systems. The gravity system is the least efficient, though inexpensive. The second system is the pressure type, an improvement over gravity. It has a pump hook up to the tractor, which makes it easier to hold calibration and speed relationship. Probably the best liquid system is the squeeze type. Nothing to hook up to the tractor. No screens, valves, or nozzles. Nothing to corrode. It is ground driven, so rate of application is constant, and it handles thick or thin liquids. This particular setup has one squeeze pump for sideband fertilizer and the other for pop-up fertilizer. You can choose liquid insecticide and herbicide equipment for in-the-row placement as well as band or total coverage. Dry formula chemicals meter through a fixed hopper aperture and variable fluted wheel. You change application rates by changing the wheel exposure to the aperture. You get constant delivery regardless of ground speed and the unit stops when raised. Chemicals can't sift into the tube at row ends. Alice Chalmers no-till planters have soil and crop matched adaptability in both frame and planting unit, in attachment and accessory availability. A total selection approach that brings reliability, adaptability, capacity and accuracy to your planting program today and as you plan for tomorrow. Giving you all of the crop growing benefits and investment advantages of no-till planting. From Alice Chalmers, the planter specialist.